Assalamu alaikum. How can I tell if my child is being bullied? Today we'll look at some signs to notice in your child. While it might be hard to admit or to acknowledge that our uh, children might be getting bullied or intimidated at school or elsewhere, uh, it's still it's important to educate ourselves so that we can help uh, protect our children and we can uh, empower them. So some things that we might notice are that our children are coming home with torn clothing or destroyed books or other items. There might be injuries that are uh, unexplainable that we notice on them. And these could be because they're being targeted at school. So they might be intimidated and uh, controlled in certain ways. They might be targeted in the bathroom, in other secluded areas. It could be even in the classroom itself. Even while class is going on, some, some things can happen. There can be some forms of uh, bullying that are not noticeable. It could be just some intimidation that happens or even, even injuries that might not be noticeable if you don't know to look for them. Some other things are you, that you might notice that your child coming home hungry more often. So that could be because their lunch is being taken or their lunch money is being taken as well. So they might say that they're, they're losing money more often when in fact it's being stolen. Other things to look for are your child uh, maybe avoiding their usual route to school. So if they typically go on, uh, by bus, they might go in a different direction in a, by, you know, by car or they might walk. Or if they walk, then they might take a different route. For example, one of the cases that I've had uh, was a client who was actually targeted. He moved into a new neighborhood and he was targeted. It wasn't on his way to school, but it was a similar case where he would he would know to avoid a certain street uh, where there was a park, there was a playground. And that was because the kids would attack him verbally. They would say you mean things to him and, and uh, you know, put him down. Um, for him, it was because of his, uh, his weight that he was targeted. Also because he was new in the neighborhood, you know, and, uh, and, and when, kids, when the kids got together, that was something that they wanted to do, is to intimidate him and to choose him as, as their next target. So that's something to look for as well, is not just in school, but if you're in a new neighborhood or uh, a new environment that sometimes for kids it's, it's tough to fit in. And then when they don't fit in, they can be targets of bullying. So something else um, uh, is that we might notice our children staying in bed uh, more often. Now that's, you know, we've heard that before. That's a classic example of, you know, children not wanting to go to school, uh, wanting to stay in bed. But you know your child best. So you're going to know if that's unusual for them. You're going to know if they're putting up a tougher fight, you know, to go to school than usual. So that could be because they don't want to go to school and they don't want to see, they don't want to experience the same repeated bullying that they're going through in a place where they're supposed to go and, and have fun and learn and, um, and, you know, be with their friends. It's important also to notice uh, any mood changes. So if you notice that your child is being more moody, so maybe they're snapping, they're being, um, you know, they're irritable. They're, you know, getting angry at things that are not, not worth it at the time. You might notice that they're not worth it, so ju they're just snapping. Uh, those are signs uh, to look for as well. Maybe they're not hanging out with their friends as often, or they're not interested in activities that they used to enjoy. So it's good to keep those in mind. And, uh, and the most important thing is that we keep an open line of communication. So no matter what our children are going through, especially if it's tough, if, we do if they don't feel like, as parents, we're someone that they can go to, for help or they can open up to, then they're not going to come to us. They might go to someone else or they might just keep it uh, inside. They might feel ashamed. So it's important to keep that open line of communication, to be non-judgmental towards them and to support them and to show that you care and you're on their side. So inshallah, we can keep that open line of communication with our kids and uh, we can uh, be aware and cognizant of these signs and other signs. Uh, and don't forget to take our survey, which is available. The link is available in the description below. And thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum.